So guys, we watched Endgame. You told us to watch Deadpool. We watched X-Men. You told us to watch Deadpool. We watched Lord of the Rings. You wanted Deadpool. So I guess we're watching Deadpool. <laughs> So we met the mouthless monstrosity in X-Men's Origins Wolverine, and you guys were like, erase it from your memories. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? I think we're gonna watch Deadpool. Let's go. Let's go. And you guys were saying, based on my personality, I was gonna, you know, love this guy. So I guess I'm gonna learn a lot about myself watching this movie. I guess I'm gonna learn something about you too. <laughs> Let's go. New favorite, maybe? My oh my god. Oh, that's the lighter off the console, right? Some coffee? Some douchebags film. <laughs> God's perfect idiot. Ryan Reynolds, sexiest man alive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love these. <laughs> these are funny. Is this Call Me Angel? That song? I might know it and break out in song in a minute. Hang on. Oh my gosh, is he in someone's face? His crotch? I don't know why I know this song, but it's imprinted in there. Yeah, me too. I didn't really know the words, you tell. I was just sort of humming them. I know, because I just said, is that what it is? And you said, I don't know. <laughs> this is sick, though. <laughs> a wedgie. Uh, dude, this is that like that Shaggy song, I thought, right? Didn't he Didn't he take this? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's how I know it. Oh my god, that is a song I forgot about. Not Shaggy. <laughs> I listen to it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Directed by an overpaid tool. <laughs> Damn, we're talking a lot, but this is good already. Hi, I'm Deadpool. <laughs> Yo, he's different. Definitely, like, right off the rip. Ew. Nice. On the camera, man. Look, his swords and all his weapons. <laughs> he wear those Volkanovski guards on his legs. Nice. Smells good, no? Not the daffodil, but the girl. Ah, yes. She would have made me a very agreeable wife. <laughs> what? Gita's heart has been stolen by my cousin Bandhu. He is as dishonorable as he is attractive. <laughs> then why is he? So, Pinder, I'm trying to think love is a beautiful thing so you gotta hold on to love <laughs> tight sir what does miss mama june taste like like <laughs> two hobos go all day don't you the point is it's bad marvel cusses like but this I'm now <laughs> Mr. Oh, that's Wolf. Because it's great. and i'm after someone on my naughty list <laughs> i've been waiting <laughs> one year three weeks six days and oh 14 minutes to make him fix what he did to me adventure and time what did come on grab your friends Mr. this shit <gasps> Ooh. Yo, at least his mouth's open though, but he still looks right. kind of the same. Oh, right? we forgot about that. Oh, what? Exactly. Oh. They won't disappoint. <laughs> they better not. The British villain. <laughs> Small disruption to our supply chain. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'll deliver in full the following month. Yeah. The asphyxiator. That's his name. Oh, right. That guy's bullying him up. He can't do anything about it. So he said this is Christmas Day. Mm. Is this a Christmas movie, though? Well, that's uh, twenty-seven fifty. I, I never carry wallet while I'm working. Ruins the lines of my suit. Oh, but uh, how about a uh, crisp high five? Okay. Bro, you Aww. stepping on? No. What is he doing? <laughs> he stiffed the cab driver straight up. I know. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine. <laughs> He's gone. Anyway, I got places to be. Oh, bad guys to kill. Okay. So his mission is he's got to fix his face. Oh, here it goes. The cold opening. <laughs> oh, jump. <laughs> Every time I see something like this, I'm waiting for Charles to freeze him. I'm looking for Francis. Have you seen this man? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the, the lighter. Yeah. I swear, if I was driving, I might just stop the car. Me too. <laughs> or I might just get out myself. He's trying to make it so. Oh! 
What is this guy? He just got so many one liners. I know. <laughs> There's the wedgie. There it goes. Shit. <laughs> Did I leave the stove on? <laughs> <laughs> I feel him though, because you do worry about that. I thought he was about to get caught with something. <laughs> Bro, that was cold. That's crazy. So basically, this superhero is just more realistic than the others. He talks his mouth off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> if I had those powers. There you go. There we go. The arms Whoa! Cool. Yeah, he's in this glasses suit. I don't remember him being Russian. Magasonic. We must fight in concrete floor. Which benefits the matching unitards? <laughs> the house that blows up every few years. <laughs> <laughs> house blowing up builds character. Right. Here, protein bar, good for bones. So I love the self-awareness though. Her name is Megasonic. School blow up every couple years. <laughs> yeah, Megasonic. But she said it, but okay. <laughs> what, what can she do? Megasonic. I don't know. When I think of Sonic, I think of like a bat. Me too. Oh, so she's like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? I only have 12 bullets. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> what that bullet say on it? On the casing? I don't Are know. Are they numbered? Oh, he got shot too, but he's all right. <gasps> oh, he still has... He's got the Logan. Right. Does he still have all the uh -huh. same powers? We forgot about that. Seven. Good Deadpool. <laughs> he doesn't have to hit us with the I am Deadpool at the end. Because right. he'd be saying already. <laughs> Someone's not counting. Six. Oh. Wow, he's just so in the zone. That reminds me of like Legolas and Gimli. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's five. An economical one right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's faking it. <laughs> he's wild. <laughs> Why would you? He's so eccentric, right? Oh, that's like when gotcha. you emote on Fortnite and you get shot up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's only got two bullets left and three dudes. Oh, let's go. He said stupid work today. Oh, he lines it up. Let's get an economical one. Oh! Let's go. Triple kill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did he skip? <laughs> <laughs> You're not Francis. Whoa. Eh. Really? Rolling up the sleeve? <laughs> he just walked right into that. I know. Like, why did you even do that? I may be super, but <laughs> I am no hero. Oh, so he's Maybe like an anti-hero. I got to take you back to long before I squeeze <laughs> this ass into red spandex. Look, would it help if I slow it down? <laughs> I... Who didn't order the fucking pie? Then who placed the call? I did. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> the fuck you doing in my crib? Before you do anything to him, would you mind if I get a, a big tip? He <laughs> 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 ain't even gonna tip the driver. He ain't tipping you. I'm here for you. Whoa. It's not out of the woods yet. <laughs> seriously ease up on the bedazzling you used to do that shut up okay, i'm gonna show y'all something I will fucking cat no you're not <laughs> I, I don't really know what that means i don't have <laughs> whose kitty litter did i just shit in <laughs> what oh, <laughs> do you happen to know a, a megan or flosky getting that right or flosky Orlovsky? Or yeah. To take a dime to beat a fella down. Oh. A little Megan, she's not Aww. getting money, but like, I'm a, a stalker. Oh. That's her chair. So keep away from Megan. No, oh, totally done. <laughs> you better walk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> talked about, remember? In her general direction again, and you will learn in the worst of ways that I have some hard spots too. That came out wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> What is wrong with him? <laughs> what in the world, bro? The glasses. He looks like Tony Ferguson. Yeah, he does, don't he? You've heard the last of Jeremy. He's sorry. No freaking way. Wait a second. 
You're my hero. No, 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 no. That I ain't. How did he come across that little girl, though? Nope. Oh, no. Never will be. I think they said. I'm just a bad guy who gets paid to fuck up worse guys. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Sister Margaret. It's like a job fair for mercenaries. So hey, she's she went and found him then. And he's in a little bad guy club down here. I, I right. Oh god, me too. The drink. Blue <laughs> knuckle. Bet you let the kid off easy too. Oh, he's not a bad kid. He's just a little light stalking. I was way worse than him when I was his age. I was traveling to exotic <laughs> places, Baghdad, Mogadishu. Jacksonville, meeting new and exciting. <laughs> Killing them. Yeah, Do them all. Rules official for I give you a blowjob. <laughs> Take that over to Buck, please, and tell him it's from Booth. Little foreplay. He's giving it to that guy. <laughs> He's like, hold door. <laughs> so he just started drama for no reason. Are we not even gonna say nothing about the fact that this is like the edgiest superhero movie we've ever seen in our right, lives? Yeah, I know. Like, like, why aren't we not even shocked by that? Yeah, he's still breathing. He just carries that around. <laughs> I picked Booth in the Deadpool. Who'd you pick? You did not bet on me to die. Oh, oh it's literally it's a, a Deadpool. Deadpool. Okay. Literally. Wow. I'm living to 102. I wouldn't even bet on him. <laughs> city of Detroit. He said I'm living to 102, then dying like Detroit. Because <laughs> <laughs> Detroit lived for about 102 years. He said. Domestic, nothing important. <laughs> Domestic. <laughs> Vanessa. Wait. What's a nice place like you doing and a girl like this? <laughs> I did that. Yeah. That. Say the magic words, fat Gandalf. Kuna has taught us if he's sorry. <laughs> go. Go cast a spell. <laughs> Daddy left before I was born. Daddy left before I was conceived. <laughs> I watched my own birthday party through the keyhole of a locked closet, which also happens to be Your mine. bedroom. Lucky, I slept in a dishwasher box. <sighs> Trauma. This is like how society is now. What can I get for uh, two hundred seventy-five dollars and uh, a yogurt land rewards card? Probably a lot. He loved that. <laughs> it's time to put balls in holes. <laughs> you said whatever I want. I get it. You love ski balls. <laughs> Apparently, more than you love the vagina. That's a tough call. Prepare to lose tragically. Bring it, big man. Okay. We're too good at carnival games, just letting everyone know that. Yeah, we're kind of fire at them, to be honest. The limited edition Voltron Defender of the Universe ring, four for board. And I will take the pencil eraser. Oh, dear. <laughs> we're proud protector of the planet Eris. Nice. Lady. No one at the carnival has ever talked to me like that, or like at an arcade. They're always so awkward. Yep. And shy. Five mini lion box? Three minutes. <laughs> what do we do with the remaining two minutes, 37 seconds? Cuddle? Oh, Origin God. stories. <laughs> All year? All year? Dang, Marvel's came a long way, I guess. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Is that the same girl? Oh, she's just role-playing? <laughs> Hell no. International Women's Day. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Ow. Ow. Wait. Sorry. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. What are they doing? Oh. Oh, they need a water hose. So they just had an adventurous year. Yeah. Your crazy matches my crazy. Big time. Uh oh. <laughs> that was cute. Will you, um, stick it Marry me? Uh <laughs> Where were you hiding that? Nowhere. Oh, no. I can't. I love you, Wade Wilson. You're, you're supposed to. So that's a. Yes! Please don't like that. Yeah, your butt's too sticky. You need to go wash off. What if I just held on and never let go? Just ride a bitch's back like Yoda on Luke. Oh. <laughs> what? Empire. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like I made you in a computer. We need to watch that too. What? We've never gotten it into like the whole Star Wars thing. Oh, so we're yeah. going to check that out on the channel 100%. But we know who Yoda is. Life is an endless series of train wrecks with only brief commercial like breaks of happiness. <laughs> This uh -oh. had been the ultimate commercial break to our regularly scheduled program. Oh my God. What happened? Oh, he's sick. Oh my gosh. He's he got cancer or something? He's clowning. You're know <laughs> clowning. <laughs> Just saying you're clowning. People react to news of late stage cancer differently. Late stage. So what do we do? Surely there is something we can do. I'm memorizing the details of her face. 
like it's the first time I'm seeing it. It's important not to do anything rash. Back to the kebab scene. And there he <laughs> Back goes. to the cookout. If I were a 200 pound sack of assholes named Francis, where would I hide? <laughs> His eyes look so scary though, don't they? Yeah, like dead almost. As rookie sensation Wade W. Wilson <laughs> out of Regina, Saskatchewan, lines up the shot. So he's Canadian. Yeah. This is taking up sportsmanlike conduct to a whole new level. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, <clears throat> like I got bit by a radioactive Sharpe. Yeah, and whose fault is that, huh, Francis? Apparently I made you immortal. I'm actually quite jealous. <laughs> I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to oh, music Colossus. in the 90s. Oh. Dad? Oh, what? <laughs> it shit just went sideways in the most colossal way. Well, maybe not the most. <laughs> hey, that's him from the other one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the old Deadpool. Bernadette is not going anywhere because you're not going anywhere. I love his shirt, by the way. We both know that cancer is a shit show. Like, and under no circumstances will I take you to that show. I want you to. Yeah, that's true, man. You win. Your life is officially way more fucked up than mine. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to win that contest. Mm -mm. Yeah, neither neither of them are going to win that game for sure. That sucks, man. You look like you need a blowjob and a shower. Triticomastidum, wheatgrass, excellent for the immune system. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought delicious. she told him. You know how they how they say cancer in Spanish? No. El cancer. Oh. No. <laughs> how happy you look here. And uh, that guy over there came in looking for you. Real Grim Reaper type. <laughs> Real Grim yeah, Reaper type. For Mr. Wilson, how can I help you? Besides luring children into a pen. <laughs> I understand you've recently been diagnosed with terminal cancer. <laughs> Just cash. What if I told you we can cure your cancer? Scam. And what's more, give you abilities most men only dream of. I'd be like, I'll stop at the so cancer cure. And and we won't just make you better. We will make you better than better. A superhero. I tried the hero business and it left a mark. So no, basically. We're within 500 yards of a school, so you may want to, you know. <laughs> Dang. What an insult. On him. <laughs> <laughs> right, you don't do it, right? That just sounds sketch, right? Nah, he's doing it 300%. He has a suit on in a bar. Hey, what's going on? I had a Liam Neeson nightmare. <laughs> what? I kidnapped his daughter. That's the dude who does the uh, Taken movie. Right. Trailer. She just accepted that answer. <laughs> what? He made three of those movies. At some point, you have to wonder if he's just a bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they made three, honestly. I just thought they made one. Yeah, because how many times can she get taken, I guess? Right. <laughs> the worst part about cancer isn't what it does to you, but what it does to the people you love. He's leaving? Who knew if this guy could save my life? But I knew there was only one way that I could save hers. Isn't that what superheroes do? That's yeah, but you ain't no superhero card. though, huh? Yeah, that card's luxury, ain't it? It just says numbers. If you accept a card like that, you owe somebody something. Okay, let's pro-con this superhero thing. Local dry cleaning discounts, lucrative film deals, both origin stories and larger ensemble team movies. Con. <laughs> you know, I do warned. This is a shameful and reckless use of your powers. You are... Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Negasonic Teenage? What the shit? That's the coolest name ever. I agree. That's pretty cool. Pretending you're not here, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Can we trade names? <laughs> Can we trade names? <laughs> he just gave him a stiff right and walked off. <laughs> Please, come quiet. You big chrome cock gobbler. That's not nice. <laughs> really gonna fuck this up for me? Nobody's getting hurt. <laughs> That guy was already up there when I got here. Yeah, Don't right. Worry. Use your powers for good. Heads out. Be a superhero. <laughs> Creepy, old, bald, Heaven's Gate looking motherfucker. <laughs> Not Charles. <laughs> I used to think Logan was kind of edgy. You know what I mean? No it way. Oh, geez, that happened fast. You're watching. <sighs> Quite unfortunate. <laughs> That's you right there as a superhero. <laughs> That's why they said that. Oh, that hurt his hand. Canada! <laughs> oh, he broke his wrist. Oh, your poor wife. 
You really should stop. <laughs> Broken oh, wrist. He looks like Ben Stiller. Oh, ow! McGregor. <laughs> so he's just doing this for Charles, basically. He's like, stop acting up. <laughs> Let us go talk to the professor. McAvoy or Stewart? These timelines are so confusing. <laughs> oh, because yeah, Patrick Stewart? Yeah. And the other guy? <laughs> That's funny. You ever see 127 hours? Spoiler alert. What is that? <gasps> no, it's that movie of that guy and he's stuck in a cave. Oh, and he gets his hand caught and he has to cut it off. I've never seen this movie, but I know oh, that. He said spoilers. Wow. I've never seen that movie, but I know that story and I know they made a movie about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he timed that perfect. <laughs> he Jamie Lannister. When life ends up breathtakingly fucked, you can generally trace it back to one big bad decision. Yeah, meeting this, up with that guy. I just promise he'll do right by me. So I can do right by someone else. Of course. That's looking sketch, sketch, sketch. I'm not going there. <gasps> Whoa. He volunteered for this? Well, I guess he's dying. That's what I feel too. Oh, easy. Aren't you a little strong for a lady? What a good time. There he goes. Are you here for the turn down service or what? Oh, my welcome speech used to be full of euphemisms like, this may hurt a little. <laughs> this may cause you some discomfort. But I've grown blunt. <laughs> but if you think superhuman powers are acquired painlessly, well. Oh, no. I'm injecting you with a serum that activates any mutant genes lurking in your DNA. For it to work, we need to subject you to extreme stress oh they're about to torture him to make his like mutant powers come out uh, yeah i guess the, the treatment affects everyone differently it enhanced my reflexes also scorched my nerve endings so i no longer feel pain oh that's why he was chilling when he was getting hit yeah oh and he had that sword in there yeah and i'm sitting there cringing he's just in there, like chilling out and he gets like hit yeah, yeah. makes sense <laughs> he's saying something <laughs> slick right now probably Thank you. you have something in your teeth <laughs> oh no, just shush. I uh, made you look. Hey, is Ajax your actual name? Because it sounds suspiciously made up. Sounds like some is cleaning it, detergents. Is, is it Basil Fawlty? <laughs> one thing that never survives this place is a sense of humor. Yeah, he, he definitely has one. You're gonna leave me all alone here with less angry Rosie O'Donnell? Oh! Dang, right to sleep. Do you see that blood splatter? This is how we're going to have to make you suffer. Mr. Salmon. This is my favorite YouTuber's intro. Oh my gosh. This is on Bates Motel too. In new and different ways, each more painful than the last. Oh wow. Until you finally mutate or die. So he can either mutate or die. That's wild, dude. So he might not even make it out of this torture. Yeah. Naked. Tandem base jumping with the WNBA Sacramento Monarchs. <laughs> Anything on my bucket list would involve public nudity. No, nope. who's this guy? Receiving a Dutch oven for Meredith Baxter Bernie. I'm not gonna ask what that is. You oh, know what that is? Know. How tough can he be with a name like Francis? <laughs> Francis. He, he got Ajax from a dish soap. There you go. I knew it was from something like that. Oh, Francie. What do you do us all a favor and shut the fuck up? Well, so your pretty mouth shut. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. See, here's the problem with round the clock torture is that you can't really step it up from there. Is that what you think? Uh oh. He tried him up for what? And what we're going to do is lower the oxygen concentration in the air to the exact point you feel like you're suffocating. Oh, wow. Brain waves. Then we'll turn up the O2. That is torture. We'll... And he's just going to oh, eat broccoli. That's, that's right. You still think we're making you a superhero? This workshop doesn't make superheroes. We make super slaves, terrorizing citizens, putting down freedom fighters. What a bad guy! What's wrong with you? Wait, 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 wait. He's got something in his teeth again. You actually have something in your teeth now. Enjoy your weekend. Is broccoli weekend. Un understandable? Weekend? A whole weekend of that? That would suck, man. So he's gonna take him right to the edge of suffocation and just keep him there. Oh my gosh. And then give him enough to survive. Wow. Well, I'll never not be able to think of that again. Oh, is it working? Oh gosh. 
He's mutating. Did I say this was a love story? No. It's a horror movie. So that's how his face gets like that? Dude, I thought they had to pour acid on him or something. Wow. Well, how's he gonna fix that? Benadryl? He needs Benadryl. What have you done to me? I've merely raised your stress levels high enough to trigger a mutation. You sadistic fuck! Right. I've cured you, Wade. Now your mutated cells can heal anything. Yeah, I've seen similar side effects before. Oh, I could cure them. The ways they're fun in there. Now I'm gonna shut you in again, Wade. Because I want to. Yeah, because you spent all your time just talking junk to this dude. Not very smart. <laughs> Fuck all right. All right. <laughs> I think we owe him that one, yeah? <laughs> she got hit and he's like, we owe him that. <laughs> oh, she's mad. She just chews on toothpicks. What's my name? Francis. With a capital F. Sorry, Francis. My lips are sealed. That is horrible. Yeah, that's like the worst thing I've pictured in a long time. This guy's the right to me, Malvi, after this. Oh, he took it from the girl. Man, there just ain't no shot. Oh my gosh. Good thing he can self heal like instantly because that ain't gonna work in any other way. Mm -mm. So he has like Wolverine. Yeah, I'm assuming he still has all the same everything. He looks like Freddy Krueger, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he kind of does. You don't want to kill me. I'm the only one who can fix you, Arkley Mug. This was like super funny and it turned super evil. Oh, man. Oh my gosh. Man, he kebobbed him. Candy caned him. Ah. I guess it is a Christmas movie after all. What's my name? Don. Francis AF. Don Dish Detergent. <laughs> oh no. His friend. He ain't gonna be able to save him. Oh man. Guys, just a random thought. You don't have to spoil it or say like what it is, but who out of every superhero, out of any like comic DC Marvel, who's got the best origin story? This one's pretty traumatic. I would either say Batman or Spider-Man because I know what Batman's is, even though I haven't really seen the movies, just because it's like culture, you know? But I don't know exactly how it goes down. Maybe it's different in each movie. Oh, his friend burnt up in there, didn't he? I got the cure to L everything, but there was only one thing that really mattered. Your face, bro being able to be with her she might still love you now though oh now he's stalking look at that oh that's so sad yeah how is she gonna look at you if they're all looking at you like that that's what he's thinking mm -hmm. he can hear their voices their thoughts Come on, Wade. It can't be that fast. She doesn't care what you low. <laughs> Do you like what you see? Dang, man. You look like an avocado. Had oh. sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. Not oh my God. Hate. You only have one course of action. Damn straight. Find star Francis. in horror films. Oh. Star in your own film. <laughs> right. Oh, that There's guy. The douchebag does think you're dead, right? Like wear a mask. Yes, a very. Thick mask all the time. You will die alone. If I mean, if you could die. Oh my gosh. So he's gonna be like alone I mean, for eternity. The nickname like Wade the Wisecracker or <laughs> Scare Devil, Mister Never Die. <laughs> I put all my money on you, and now. Mr. Yo. Okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> Deadpool. Oh, perfect. Captain Deadpool. Nah. No. No. no, no, no. <laughs> no just. Yeah. Just Deadpool. Deadpool. That sounds like a fucking franchise. <laughs> oh, it is. Yo, this is so cool. I'm liking this, guys. I don't even know what that means. I know. He looks like Peter Parker in the first one, just so like, yeah, such a thrift store suit. He looks like the guy from Mean Girls. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> Sell some water and blood. <laughs> or wear red. Oh yeah. So he was for real when he said he was wearing red to cover his blood. Don't make me ask twice. Where is Francis? Man, somebody's gotta give him up. Please. They're too loyal to Francis. 
<laughs> what? You're, you're about to be killed by a Zamboni. <laughs> this is confusing. Is it sexist to hit you? Is it is it more sexist to not hit you? I mean, the line is real <laughs> blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where your fucking boss is, or you're gonna die in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear this song? It's like a Deadpool rap. It's so psychotic. Uh oh, here he is. Yeah, no, this song is crazy on it. So they're recruiting everyone with cancer, basically. Nice yeah, basically. See you, Jared. I'll take the football. <laughs> Fully loaded. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Mr. Wilson. Ding ding. <laughs> Where's your boss? I can tell you exactly. <laughs> you might want to look away for this. Now this little piggy went to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got him. That was wild. Moving the That's camera. It? I know. Oh no. Oh, he owes him. No, no, no. <laughs> and we all know how this turned out. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he nose and nose with a little unicorn? <laughs> there, all caught up. Okay, back to armless. We'll handle this actually. Oh yeah. Like the kind where your year-long plan ends with the wrong guy getting dismembered. He's the old rag to like cover up his hand. <laughs> and I share that home with someone you've met. The old blind lady from the laundromat, Al. God, I miss cocaine. Her. <laughs> she's like Robin to my Batman, except she's old and black and blind. That's his roommate? For real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe because she's blonde and she doesn't realize he's a superhero, obviously. It smells like old lady pants. <laughs> Yes, I'm old. I wear pants. But you're no lady. Downside of being blind. I hear she can hear everything. <laughs> How's that Kunin coming along? I don't mind the Kunin. It's an improvement on the her doll. They're talking about IKEA uh, things. I love IKEA. Here. That's where the little shelf came from, right? Mm -hmm. She's wild. How did she build that? Oh. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> the cock thistle that turned me into this freak slipped through my arms today. Today was about as much fun as a sandpaper dildo. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> what? He just pulls up like that. Fucking Wade Wilson. We'll put him out of our misery on our terms. Why didn't we just take his shirt off and then get I, patched up? I don't know, man. It wasn't the world. <laughs> oh, because it's cold in there. I'm sure that was helping that little wife beater. Tylenol PM? You'd stick that where you stuck the back team. I created my stash of wisdom tooth percocet and I am horrible <laughs> fucking Saturn right now. <laughs> but I appreciate the gesture. Is that his hand? Or is your hand really small? It's about the size of a KFC spork. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't have me. If you could see me, you'd understand. Looks on everything. Looks are everything. You think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? <laughs> <laughs> He's blaming him himself. In the meantime, you might want to leave the room. I bet it feels huge in this hand. <laughs> what is wrong with him? So the doctor says the bad news is we don't have that long to live. So the patient says, how long do I have? The doctor says, five. The guy says, five what? The doctor says, four. <laughs> Two. I didn't get along with those dudes. I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, I heard you might be able to point me in the direction of a, um, a friend of mine. Uh oh, there's a picture of him back there. Oh, this must be Vanessa. I've heard so much about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man, everyone's strapped up in there. Put the little man down. We have everything we need now. You don't want any clothes that are not monochromatic? <laughs> have fun at your midnight showing of Blade 2. Yo, we gotta watch that on the channel, guys. Yeah. Blade. You said that's the first Marvel movie, so we gotta check that out. I know what they are. I don't know if I've seen them or not. We have a fucking problem. And by we, I mean you. If I'm watching, I might remember it, I might not. I don't know. Is there a word for half afraid, half angry? Yeah, for angry, I guess. <laughs> you decided what you're going to say to her? Fuck me. Uh, maybe not start with that. <laughs> Coming onto our stage. Right Stan! Now. Give it up for Chastity. <laughs> Wildest cameo yet, like Stan. How do you know she's in here? Because I'm constantly stalking that fox. Every time I see her, it's like the first time, especially from this angle. Why is he showing up there, though? Right, he's gonna throw her so off guard. And she has drinks in her hand. You can't 
can't buy love, but you can rent it for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get it together. This is about me. This is about Vanessa. Man, that will be tough, though. That mirror sucks. Someone out back asking for you. Something about that old boyfriend. I've already need to meet you out back. I know better than to do it when it's raining. You ain't gonna come. Right. I knew it was you. That's their little thing. That ain't him. That's the other dude about to kidnap her, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Wait, Wilson, to think this. Dang, she hit her with the shoulder like that? Hey, hey, where'd she go? Uh, it's our head to the back. Go get her, tiger. <laughs> oh, no. Your coin purse? Wait, wait, wait. Let's... Ah! <laughs> He's got that punch in back. They took the water out of it before he punched it. Okay, okay. I think that's oh, a start. Look at all that toilet paper back there. <laughs> No, no, wait, it's Francis. He wants you to come to him. What is that? <laughs> That's the shit emoji. I thought it was chocolate yogurt for so long. <laughs> Got all the guns! All right. Okay. So Weasel's more than a bartender? Right, I guess so. <laughs> He's like the gun guy in John Wick when you're down in the like mercenary club. <laughs> was that Wolverine? No, <laughs> was it really? Was that yeah. Him? He hey, brought hey, a magazine of Wolverine like with him. <laughs> all the pieces in the house. No, 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 Come on, let's go. Cough it up. If I count, I like it. <laughs> I'd go with you, but I don't want to. I want you to know that I love you very much. There's about 116 kilos of cocaine buried somewhere in the apartment, right next to the cure for blindness. <laughs> that is jacked up, bro. And he loves her very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dickless. And I mean you. My old boyfriend, he's dead. See, I thought that too. But he keeps on coming back. Let's see how he fights with your head on the block. Ripley from Alien 3. Fuck, you're old. Ah, <laughs> Hiding real pain. <laughs> get silver balls. He's got my girl. You're going to help me get her back. Yeah, it's me, Deadpool. And I got an offer that you can't refuse. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there thinking the same thing. Is it just them? My chrome penis friend back there <laughs> agreed to do me this solid in exchange. I said that I would consider joining his boy band. Show he might be an X-Man. I tried to hold on tight, Mr. Poole, but <laughs> Andhu is more craftier and handsomer than me. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? That was Bandhu in the trunk. Oh, I thought there was somebody in the pothole. In I don't know. Uh, romantic rival, Bandhu. <laughs> His romantic rival. I, doing <laughs> I did not tell him to do that. Absolutely not. You got lost in translation. Don't hinder. This is no way to win Dina's heart back. I'm so proud of you. Drop Bandhu off. <laughs> so proud of you. And Kill him. And then win <laughs> <laughs> I presume a crisp high five. For you, 10. <laughs> I love it. it. Why is this not the X-Men theme song? I don't know. They knew it should have been though. That's why they put it in this one. They regretted that for forever. That's the sticker I see on the back of people's cars. Mm. Oh, it's in a Hello Kitty bag. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and he's committing a crime. <laughs> Bondu got smacked. Did you see that? I do this the old-fashioned way, with two swords and maximum effort. <laughs> That's the second time he said that. <laughs> <laughs> this has got my cheeks like cramping up. Oh my gosh! It's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> they got so serious. What's my name? <laughs> she gonna do a superhero landing? Wait for it. Oh, when they punch the ground. Yeah. I prefer not to hit a woman, so please play. Dang. Dang, and Wade can't even move him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He broke his legs kicking him. I mean, that's why I brought her? <laughs> oh no, finish your tweet. <laughs> not bad. Oh, I 
so pity the dude who pressures her into prom sex. <laughs> she had on her X-Men uniform, you saw that? Yeah. Yo, if I'm not a mutant, I'm just not coming up to mutants and shooting them. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting out there, yeah. I've seen way too many suckers just take tires and forklifts to the side of the head for no reason. Look away, child. Look away! <laughs> What did he just do? Wait! I would pull his underwear off. <laughs> a, a, a flag? You only work for that shit spackled Muppet fart. So, I'm gonna give you a chance. Fine. Commando. Just like, what the heck? <laughs> Bunch of dummies, I think. Back of the head, that's illegal, ain't it? Whoa. I just still don't exactly know what she does, but it works. She just gets mad and goes good. <laughs> Bob? Wait. Oh my god, I haven't seen you since Jacksonville. Since DGI Fridays. Fridays. Well, what the hell? <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> he gave him mercy, though. Oh, uh, uh, you're <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she punched him right the nuts. He even helped her. He even covered it up. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> and there's a head with Don't the eye. Me. Oh, my God. Oh, she was lifting him. Uh, I didn't know. There you go. When he said climb on, I thought he meant hop on her back. Right, because we're not sure what her powers are. Yeah, <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> Maybe she just, like, explodes yeah. off the ground or something. I don't know. He's just mad walking away. What the heck? Now all he's got to do is go beat Ian Gary, and he's good to go. That's who he does look like. That guy? Yeah. <laughs> worn his brown pants. Wait. Don't worry, baby. Let me get you out of that shit box. Oh, you never laughed. But you did, asshole. I'm just hush. I don't focus. Mm -mm. Well, she don't might not survive this. Every... She might become a mutant. Maybe. Hey, you grow back body parts now, Wade. When I'm finished, parts will have to grow back you. Good one. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> He's talking to Let's the writer. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Pretty solid fight. But he put himself at a disadvantage to save her though, look. Because he only has one. That's right, he doesn't have pain. Oh no. No! Dang, she's being proactive over there. That was she? smart. Feast. Oh, sounds like your last Saturday night. I don't know what that means either. Dang, that guy's tough too, though. How's he gonna meet him? Ooh. He stabbed him in the head. head? <gasps> Ooh. Good job. Give him his word. <gasps> Good job. Oh, he's actually hurt. He's always so funny, it's hard to picture him hurt. <laughs> <laughs> What's this dragon right here? What is this thing? Oh. <laughs> oh, because he's losing it? I think he just fell in love even harder. I think he's got a knife in his head, so he's kind of tweaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he just gets up. Oh no. Oh. Okay, she has a cool nickname for a reason. So she's basically just a big missile, huh? Oh. Oh, he's gonna put her in there because it's like indestructible. She's still gonna bang her head around though. You better put a parachute on that thing. Don't worry, I'm totally on top of this. Let's go Colossus, go Colossus. Oh, he saved that girl, the strong girl? Yeah, he likes her, he saw her naked. <laughs> 
Is she okay? Let's go. Man, that girl would be so beat up if she really fell in that thing. Oh my god, that was so awful. Oh no. It's just never over with this dude, is it? What are we supposed to do with him? Me and you are headed to fix this butterface. You sure fucking idiot. <clears throat> Did you really think there was a kill? Yeah, I was about to say, there ain't no fixing that, bro. You mean to say you can't fix me? It sounds even stupider when you say it. <laughs> well, stupid who admits he can't do the one thing I'm keeping him alive for? Right? That's what I was thinking. Any last words? What's my name? Who fucking cares? Wait! Four or five moments. Four or five moments. That's all it takes to be a hero. <laughs> Over a lifetime, there are only four or five moments that really matter. That's some good wisdom. Spare an enemy. Let's go, Deadpool. In these moments, the way we. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I knew that jump was coming, dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> you were just promise. Yeah, yeah, I'll be on the lookout for the next four moments. So he'll try better, basically. <laughs> just a boy. What the fuck am I gonna tell her? <laughs> tell you what, I deserve that. That too. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe not the nether. I'm sorry for, 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 for leaving. I'm sorry for not cowboying up sooner. I, I live in a crack house. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're about to have a competition. Well, every night we spoon for warmth. Everybody fights for Noelle. She's the fattest. She ain't in the mood to play, is she? So you live in a house. There we go. <laughs> not a box. Take the mask off. But maybe the guy under this mask, he ain't the same one that, that you remember. I'm nervous. What if she screams? I don't hope she doesn't. I hope she doesn't care. And this one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just give it an Audi 5000. Oh. oh, he stapled it to his forehead. Did you see that? <laughs> so he stapled it. So Wolverine still made a cameo. Yeah, it was a lot cheaper. <laughs> He's got a staple in his chin. <laughs> After a brief adjustment period and a bunch of drinks, it's a face I'd be happy to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of drinks. She's there too much. Underneath this suit either. Super penis. Come on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you go be a really big brother to someone. Tell Beast to stop shitting on my lawn and you <laughs> chicken noodle. Nothing. We will make an X-Men of you yet. Wait. I don't know, man. Come here. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Careless whisper. <laughs> <laughs> that really was a love story. That really was. That was good. You don't need to be a superhero to get the girl. The right girl will bring out the hero in you. Let's finish this epic wide shot, pull out. It's gonna be about the only thing that's pulling out tonight. Who <laughs> doesn't love a happy ending, huh? I'm never gonna dance again <laughs> the way I dance with you. Oh. Wow, bro. Okay, where's the end credits? We know there is. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that robe's tough, though. I like it. You're still here. <laughs> it's over. Go home. <laughs> Oh, you're expecting a teaser for Deadpool 2. Well, we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch and a saucy little leather number. Go, go. We were. <laughs> Making an arthritis distribution of this film. For the sequel, we're going to have Cable. We have no idea who we're going to cast yet, but it could be anybody. Just need a big <laughs> guy with a flat top. Could be Mel Gibson, Dolph Lundgren, Kira Knightley. She's got range. Who knows? Go. <laughs> <laughs> what? all right guys so that was deadpool i finally get why you guys wanted us to watch that and i don't really understand why you guys thought that i would like this character <laughs> based on my personality so much i guess maybe i am sort of like i don't know man maybe that says something about me and myself <laughs> i really love the movie man that was a 10 out of 10 um i don't think i've laughed that hard in one of these movies since the guardians of the galaxy movies those movies were funny in their own way in a more family way. Yeah, I, I usually get excited and try to show my son these. I think I'm gonna skip this one. 
for right now, we're definitely not going to show them this one. Where's the remote real quick? Because I got to fix that in the back. It's going to bother me. Okay. 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 Sorry about that. But to me, I enjoyed that a lot, but it was just a little like, how do you put it? Perverted? <laughs> I don't know. It was good. It was funny. <laughs> it was um, funny. It was just a little perverse for me. It was fun. It was definitely... It was different, right? Definitely different. We can enjoy it, man. It was more of an adult superhero movie, but we definitely enjoyed it over here. Uh, I had so much fun watching it, man. My cheeks were hurting. Deadpool, really awesome character. He has really awesome abilities. He is basically, I didn't really see the full, I guess, like presentation of his powers, right. you know, because we saw him heal. We saw him. They were regenerative. He was really good with swords. He moved very fast. Right. So he was able to like right. slow down time. And he could like hear people's thoughts too. Exactly. So there was so a lot of different weird. things like um, presented about him. I know we're supposed to completely ignore the first uh, Deadpool guys, but you know, the only thing I can really have to make educated thoughts is my own history, right? So right. Um, the other Deadpool, that guy had every type of power. So he possessed every type of mutant mm. power. So he was like the ultimate. Right. So far in like the X-Men universe, he's like the ultimate bad guy, I guess. Yeah. In a sense, because he was the most powerful mutant we've came across so far, in my opinion, other than uh, Logan's Logan's love interest lady. Jean. Yeah, Jean. That's her name, Jean. Yeah. Anyways, man, yeah, most powerful since Jean. You know what it reminded me of? You know how RDJ, when um, in Iron Man, there would be like Captain America little things and he would like kind of like pick on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like kind of like Ryan Reynolds kind of did that to Hugh He Jackman. was like little brother. Him yeah. A bit. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I love all the Hugh Jackman references oh, yeah. in this. Guys, I don't know, man. I give this a 10 out of 10 just because I thought it was funny. It was refreshing. If every superhero movie was like this, man, it'd be a little ridiculous. But right. I am glad to see that they made a character like this. It definitely makes sense, man. If you have all these egos, all these personalities, you know, someone's going to come across like that. We try to compare these movies to like real life and try to like talk about them and stuff. It's kind of hard to do sometimes because they are just fantasy and things don't exactly play out on the screen like they would in real life. But in real life, man, if I had the ability to do the things this dude did, I might would talk a little trash too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what makes it so uh, lighthearted is. And also in the X-Men universe, a lot of it has been super intense and super emotional. You know, it's been like actual historic events. And then we get this lighthearted Deadpool, which is also like, I think, relieving for the franchise, if you want to, um, if you want my opinion, personally. Right. And, you know, a lot of these movies have completely different vibes to them, even though they all sort of go hand in hand. Like, mm -hmm. like I was saying, for example, when she was in that, uh, what was it, like a hyperbaric chamber or whatever that lady was in, and she fell off, I was saying, like, there's no way she'd hit her head and die, right? If this was like a more serious tone of Marvel movie like that could have killed her mm -hmm. and that could have been like the moment that we were all supposed to be really sad about but in this movie you know she was completely fine so I'm yeah. so glad we got to see his origin story though. I'm ready to watch the second one yeah. how many movies do we got to watch do we get to watch the second one in a while I don't know what do we watch next on the channel after this uh, Apocalypse X-Men Apocalypse yeah I'm really excited to see that one guys because the teaser that we got was the, the lady pyramids. she was moving the pyramids and that you know man I could I could just do a whole movie like that to be honest that, man, that so. was intense I, I hope maybe we had to watch this one before because maybe Deadpool will actually join the X-Men and help in Apocalypse, maybe. Right. Or maybe there will be somewhere where he does actually join them and runs in. I would like to see him and Charles or him and Magneto and something. So the X-Men gene really starts to flare up and show itself when they're going through these adolescent stages in their life, right? So they're confused, their hormones are messed up. There's mm -hmm. a lot of like anxiousness and stuff and it makes it flare up but in this movie we saw that you can do the same thing by induced torture yeah, but which was they wild. took it from wade who had cancer though i think it had something to do with him having cancer mm -hmm. um to mutate something i think i thought that the only reason they the cancer part was relevant not to interrupt you sweetie was because i thought that the only way someone would volunteer to do that was if they were right dead. and maybe that too yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it was yeah i'm, I'm pretty sure that since he was is good as dead already. He was okay, like, so he had nothing to know, lose. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's like a clinical trial thing. Okay, I thought yeah. it had to do with the cancer, but that's that that doesn't make sense. I mean, you know, I could be completely wrong. Uh, I have no idea. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed the movie, guys. What's your favorite part? I think my favorite part was just that he actually got the girl, and then he said he was gonna end. play Careless Whisper, and he did. Yeah, he did. That part was funny. That was sweet. That was sweet. My favorite part was I just I, my favorite part of the movie, man, was the fact that he didn't tip the cab driver when he hopped out. I just thought that was so messed up. <laughs> like out of every single person you could be terrible to, like why that guy? But, but that really but just goes to show buds. like how douchey he was. Right. Yeah. And then they become buds because he's like yeah. he's like you should you should capture the guy and the guy does it. He does all these things he tells him to do. Yeah. 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 I feel like maybe if I'd never even seen a superhero movie in my life, I could have watched that. Yeah, absolutely. And enjoyed it. I might not would have understood like you know the X Men. Right, you wouldn't have understood Xavier the like school and yeah, all that, you yeah. know. But now that I have seen those movies, I definitely get it. 
But even if I would have just seen those movies forever ago and just remembered what that school was, that was definitely like a standalone movie to me. I don't really feel like. But I think just knowing, like, um, knowing maybe not so much Colossus, because to be honest, that was the most we've seen Colossus ever talk. Yeah. I didn't even know he had a Russian accent, to be honest with you. Um, but like, just like seeing them and kind of understanding a little bit about them is worth it to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's nice to like build up. Because yeah. every time you put one of these characters on the screen, it's just really nice to build a little history with them, you know? Right. Make them more familiar. And I think if you want me to be honest in the MCU, like knowing all the origin stories before we like got to Endgame and Infinity Wars, that made you have more stake in them. Yeah, it made you feel like they were yeah. family, you know? Yeah. Like, you meet friends, but family, like, you know family for life, so it's, you know, and we sort of, I guess in a sense, we still meet them. I mean, they're right. still adults when they have And I think that's stories, why but. in the X-Men, we're just super tight with Logan and, like, Magneto and Charles because we, they've had the most screen time for us. So, like, for Deadpool to have a standalone origin movie means he's important. Right. Right. I really like Ryan Reynolds' character cast uh, for this guy. I really think that, like, he just has, like, a very... He has like a very like soft feminine voice when he, I know a lot of people are probably gonna take that the wrong way, but he just has a way of like, like cutting your head off and then just be like, oh my, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he just has like a very- It's like optimistic in a way. I don't know how to explain it. Like you just did something right, crazy, yeah, yeah. but you have a chipper voice. Like you're just chipper, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. explain it. hundred percent, like a dang. Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. So I really enjoyed the film. I don't really know what more I can add, but we're just gonna continue on this journey guys. And Thank you guys so much for showing us that. I know you guys have been excited about that, and it was definitely um, that was worth seeing. What, what, was. what is it? What is it called? The hype was real. The That's hype was, was definitely the hype real. Was real. That was funny. So I'm sure that you guys, I can see why so many people wanted to see it. Not just because the character was awesome, but people probably want to see what we thought about a character like from this, you know, this whole yeah, entire world. Yeah, we didn't even bring that up. That like, was just so edgy. There's you know times in this movie that was unique. Um, because you, you do see Iron Man in some other things where he's like talking to himself. He has like kind of like a monologue. But in this one, Ryan Reynolds was talking to us as like us as like the audience. But he was also talking to like the producer. Right. He was like, it was funny because he was like poking fun at superhero movies. So it was like in a way a spoof to superhero yeah, movies. Yeah, it was a very self-aware movie. Right. And that's why you couldn't make this movie multiple times though. Because it would take away that self-awareness from it. So the movie's unique because there's not a movie a lot of movies like this so when he when they said do the iconic like superhero landing and we knew exactly what that was because yeah, it's exactly. so like yeah they're picking fun on it i really love yeah, that 100%. i really do enjoy that but if you're a superhero and you jump off something tall how many different ways can you really land i know what are you gonna land like this <laughs> yeah that looks hard on the yeah, knees right a, that looks lame I'm, because I'm, your I'm eyes would you on that. your eyes and your brain just wouldn't accept that because you know good and well that kinetic energy transfers to them knees and hurts them <laughs> knees. y'all know that um Man, dude, I kind of don't even want to get off the video because that was just so much fun. Uh, guys, that was Deadpool. Thank you guys so much for watching this document. It, and I cannot wait to watch the second one. And guys, we don't live under a rock, so we do know there's like a Deadpool slash Wolverine movie. I think I mentioned that. And I know that I think the trailer debuted during the Super Bowl. But guys, when that thing came on the TV, I'm telling you, I completely looked away from the TV. I keep it very Yeah, we genuinely that didn't way. watch it because we didn't want to spoil anything. And like, for example, like if someone wasn't in that trailer, then we could probably guess that maybe something happens to them. We're genuinely so, doing our best to like yeah. do our best. So like if I come across somebody and we're conversating, like I don't, I don't, I try not to mention Game of Thrones. I don't try to talk about it. I don't ask somebody if they've seen it. I don't want anybody to spoil something for me, man. Right. I, I love giving you guys the realest reactions on YouTube. And man, that was my first look at Deadpool. And I've always wondered, man, what's up with all these dudes with this whole Deadpool thing? But I get it, man. I get it. So. That was fun. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. I'm sorry I made you put your immature, uh, your premature peace sign up. My premature and immature, <laughs> immature. peace sign up. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.